God. And that's how you feed the Jack Jack every day. Because <laughs> I think he likes food more than Coca. Camp Adventures. Morning. So that was fun. Uh, my PCA supervisor just left uh, with my new PCA. Uh, he seems like a good guy, and uh, between this new guy and the guy I met last week, uh, he should pretty much be covered, and it's just going to be a matter of uh, filling out the schedule, so let's hope my supervisor gets the lead out of his butt and gets it done. And now, in just a couple minutes, I'm going to head out and head to uh, to the clinic for my pre-op and I'm sure they're going to take some blood from me which is always fun and maybe if I'm lucky I'll be able to get a cortisone shot in my shoulder and not have to try and make an appointment to go in tomorrow so or not tomorrow because I probably won't get in tomorrow it'll probably be next week which I rather do it today and just get it done so I don't have to wait and push it closer to my surgery date but gotta do what you gotta do so let's hope yeah that could have been really bad so when I went down to hop in my car and head to my appointment my chair topper wouldn't open and it wasn't moving at all and I even turned the car off to listen to hear if the motor was clicking and when I pushed the up switch it would click like it does uh, when it's up completely and when I pushed down nothing no it didn't even sound like the motor was trying to engage to push it open and so I, I was freaking out. Hopped back in my chair. Cult Mel hopped back in my chair, came in, and came down. And I was going to have her drive me. And she's going to have to drop me off and come back because her daughter's got the flu right now. And she didn't want to leave her daughter alone with another guy that lives in the building while she's at the doctor with me and that would have been a good thing because I was there till like 12.30 but she came out and just thumped on my chair topper and it turned out it was just frozen shut so thankfully that worked and didn't have to worry about anything else uh, being wrong with it because that wouldn't have been good uh, although, I guess, to think about it, if it were to break down, about now would be, you know, it would be not ideal time for it to break down, but it wouldn't be all that bad, because other than tomorrow having uh, a shrink appointment, I've got nothing until I have surgery. So, and be able to make it work and then you could just get it fixed whenever but yeah other than that um, uh, I just got a call and I'm going to be on the graduate panel for partners in policy making uh, that makes me really happy uh, it's going to be a little rough, though, being that uh, I'll probably be fresh out of my second surgery, carpal tunnel surgery. But I know the weekend, I know the day that we're looking at. So given this much notice, 
I should be able to get things lined up in advance. So, let's hope they're going to ask Mel too. Uh, she's meeting with the key medical people right now. And she's got some drama going on with that right now. But, uh, yeah, they're going to ask her to go, and we'll probably end up going together. But it's awesome. I, I'm really excited to head back up there. Uh, Kip Adventures, making our way one point.